All right, guys, so it is Wednesday, August 4th in the morning, and we're here for one of Barrel's little warm-up routines, I guess you call it. Morning rides. His morning ride. We're just gonna stop by and see what he's up to. So uh, I've got a list over there. It's the third list. I'm on my third list, I don't know why. But I do each trick five times because I'm trying to get it, I'm trying mm. to learn these things, you know? I'm gonna turn the music down, it's too loud still. Right. And um, I'm progressing, I wouldn't say it's like, you know, freight train progressing, but I am progressing a little bit at a time. Um, sometimes I'll do it more than five. Sometimes I'm, you know, if I don't like the trick, I might only do it three times, but. A um, couple interesting things on my front brakes, um, what are these called again? Huh? The name of the brake. The Maguras? Maguras, yes. Oh, I know, boy. right? Well, uh, so they have so much power, these brakes. So I, I drilled two holes in each pad so there'd be less contact. They still had too much. And now I have four holes. And I mean, you know, they're an eighth inch, they're by an eighth inch wide, these holes. I have yeah. four holes in each pad. And yeah. check this out. This is just front brake. I'm sitting down. <laughs> yeah. But I still have brakes and they are getting more featherable. I'll probably end up just having to take the pads out completely. <laughs> um, on my rear brake, I'm running the um, Paul brakes. I'm really liking these. Paul components. Yep, but I, I, I had to, uh, what do you call it when you move them in? Tow them in? Tow them in. Vocabulary's not good today. Tow them in, and that took care of the back squeaking. The first one I'm doing is a 180. And so I this wanna... is your trick, you're gonna go through your trick list? Yeah. Your set list? Yeah. And it's a 180, and I wanna learn backwards wheelies on the pedals. That's, that's very difficult for me. Um, but I wanna do a 180 and come out in a backwards wheelie. It's like a slow thing, and that's what I'm gonna do right now. Someone got a big tailpipe on their Miata. Could you talk when I'm in the middle of a trick? Because it helps me concentrate. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Man. Oh, wait. It's supposed to be on my pedals. You're doing the backwards wheelie? On my pedals. I'm trying to come out 180, but. Whoa, whoa. I saw a big bike guy do a, it looked like a cyborg this morning. Really? Yeah, but just for a quick second. Ooh. Cyborg's when your foot's on the peg, right? Front peg? Yeah, it's like, a hang five is when you're like this, but your seat's kind of right up against your butt. And a cyborg, you're hanging off the side, which is hard on a stock frame because it's hard to get your feet down there. Well, I, yeah, I can't tell if it was a hang five or a cyborg, but it was one of those. Is your goal like to pedal out of that in a wheelie? Yeah, first I just gotta get the uh, backwards wheelie on the pedals. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, he's, I know what you're thinking. You do? Yeah. You can hear my thoughts? Well, the, es the escape route is not so good because your, your weight's on your pedals. Oh yeah. And you gotta lean way back there, I bet. Fuck. Fucking pisses me off. So my record's three and three quarter circles. Oh, on the, yeah, on the peg wheelie? On the peg wheelies? Yep. I'm already riding my brakes. That was two. The answer. The deuce. I know this. Almost every rolling trick is don't use your brakes, you know? Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, fucker. <laughs> Sorry. We're gonna get demonetized now. Man, I get the hardest parts to take off. Getting in a perfect balance point. And then I touch my brakes maybe because I'm going over and I know that's like, well, they're getting close to the end now. Fuck. God damn it, that was perfect, man. Damn. What happened? I missed it. Well, I start talking to myself. I'm like, good takeoff, good takeoff, man. You're not even touching your brakes. You're not, you just touched your brake. Uh. By the way, if I cuss or say words that offend you, it's just a word. <laughs> they have different meanings depending on how you use them. Mine is coming out in frustration. I see. You're like Mr. Rogers. You're giving us like lessons of life and yeah. entertainment. I'm, I'm going to get one of them sweaters. <laughs> And the button up tie. Whoa! Oh. That was like two and a quarter. You know, I could feel like how you can pump. Like you watch the pro ground riders, and they they'll be doing a rolling trick and getting more speed. And it's just. I can see it, I can't do it, but yeah, it's, it's there, which would be really cool because once you get really slow, if you could just pump it back up, you know? Yeah, that'd be cool. Tell me how close my head is if I get up there. You have like six inches. Okay. But like, then it depends if you're near this arm right here. Because that changes everything. Well, that's only four. That's what, three? So you're doing it from the peg. <sighs> got it. What's well, a 180? I'm... You gotta unwind your cords. It's hard never being satisfied. As soon as I get a 360, I'll be like, it's not a 540. God. That's uno mas. Is that right? One more? I guess. Ooh. Maybe I'm gonna scooch back a little. Give you some more space. on me. Huh? It's like dark in there now. One more. Decent. That was a good one. It's a start. Dude, when you like fall, it's like gravity pulls on you harder than most people. <laughs> huh? When you fall, it's like gravity's pulling on you harder than most yeah. people. <laughs> you like suck down to the ground. My legs don't want to run. That's why I don't do too many, well, I don't think I do any scuffing tricks because my feet just don't want to move that fast. <laughs> okay, front wheel 540. Yeah. You see anything I'm doing wrong? No. It's gonna be hard to see if you're on that phone. I'm not on my phone. How dare you? Oh! oh! That was way further. You know, I wasn't even really going that fast. It was just a good in. Yeah? You looking forward to that uh, ride out? What ride out? In Santa Cruz at the end when? of this month? Hmm? 
the ride out in Santa Cruz at the end of this month. Yeah. Isaac should be there, both Craig and Isaac. And I think Patrick's going to come up. My phone won't connect to the music. Dude, you're going to be on your phone while I'm talking to you? I'm trying to get some What's tunes going here. Damn it. Ugh. Finally. This one's a Rock Walk 540. I use my front brakes because I don't have enough distance in here, but eventually. Whoa. So, ah. You're getting close. Like if you were under that thing, you're going to hit your head on it. Like brush it or hit it? Hit it. <laughs> it's like you get stuck up there, frozen. Yeah. So I was thinking of calling Ronnie Wilton. Uh-huh. Because uh, he could roll back, and he got a real big whip, and he'd do a 540 and wheelie out of it. You're going to call on. him? Huh? You're going to call him? I should, because... Yeah. That'd be cool. He seems to know how to do that. Whoa! That's the farthest I've seen you do that. Yeah, that was with brakes, though. So. Uh -oh. God damn it. Ooh, the brakes are actually being more featherable. The Maguras are? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Feet. When you fall, it's just like the most dense object in the world kit in the ground. <laughs> well, I was like 170 when I was competing. I'm like 225 now. I feel it. My legs don't want to work that hard. I thought I was losing weight, and it's like I think I gained weight. <laughs> right? <laughs> My pants never lie, though. Yeah. Blurry, what up? I love all that clanking yeah. that the bike makes. It's reassuring. That was cool. He's out of a foot away from you. No, that's okay. Okay. As long as you don't mind a peg. <whistles> Man, that one looks like it might work. Oh, that was Ooh. cool. So that's 15 tricks. Oh, wow. Probably an average of seven each. What's seven times 15? A lot. 
105? Yeah. Is it? Seven times what? 15? 15. Yeah. Or 110? 105. That's my set list as of now. It changes. Like I'll be going into a trick and I'm like, man, I just, there's certain tricks I don't like doing that they just don't feel good. So might look good, but they don't feel good. So I'm replacing those with tricks that feel good. And I like, I like carving the rolling tricks, spins. And uh, so that's where I'm at. That's what I do every day. I've done this for, since you guys are in Mexico, I've only missed three days. Yeah, so like almost three weeks now. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good way to just, like we said before, just you don't have to think about it. You just come outside, get on your bike, and start doing it, you know? It yeah. gives you a routine to go through, a routine to follow. And the list is good motivation because um, you know you're going to have to do it five times, so you might as well try. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's, that's the whole big thing is having a reason to do it, you know? Yep. But um, it's those little games. It's not really once I get the trick down, you know? It's the little gains when I get closer to it that keeps yeah. me coming back, you know? Yeah. So I would say that the four holes in the Magura pads are helping. They're still a little touchy, but I can get a lot more feathering out of them, and I still can lock them up whenever I want. I'm obviously on the journey to find the perfect break. Yes. And um, I'm Well, getting and the perfect close. setup for our bike design. Well, true. True, but there's nothing worse than going to a going into a trick when you want your brakes to lock up and they fade, or if, especially on mini ramps, you know, you land on a let's say you land on the coping to do like a hop in backwards. You don't want that thing slipping. No. You know, at least I don't. I think everyone would prefer it that way. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's probably it. Um, Full day of riding, I'm gonna go take a shower. Yeah, we'll probably do more videos like this when, as his set list of tricks changes, because you, you seem to update that pretty frequently. Um, but other than that, thank you guys for watching as always. Yeah. We'll see you next time. And don't forget, we do still have some select sizes for the Ring of Fire merch left in the shop, so be sure to check that out um, on rlosborne.com. And finally, if you like the video, let's. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Right. All right, we'll see you guys next time. You guys have a good one.